Hi everyone, and welcome back to Guest in Line. This is episode two, and in this episode, I place down a whole bunch more buildings and start detailing the central square in front of the old church. And yeah, I'm really happy with how the city is coming together, and I am thankful for you guys for stopping by to watch it. Here you can see this is a lot of what I've been doing is placing buildings in a wall-to-wall -wall style. Since this is the central city, it's very dense and these buildings have been there a long time. So it's important to get them close with each other and to get more of a cohesive look. I'm using a bunch of buildings from the workshop and some of them are just general European buildings. Some of them are specifically from places like Amsterdam or places in Germany or Copenhagen, stuff like that. It's just sort of a combination of a lot of different European styles and it goes back to the idea that I have the freedom to choose different places for inspiration. And yeah, I'm really happy with how it looks, especially when you get any sort of bird's eye view and it all looks like one city. And then when you zoom into places where I start detailing things more and that's where the city really starts to come to life. example this area it's kind of like a pedestrian alleyway with a couple of restaurants and shops and again this is when you start putting down like signs and awnings and tables and stuff like that it really just makes it start to look a lot more realistic and yeah I've placed a lot of these shop fronts and fences planters different things like that and you can't see it but there is an invisible pedestrian path running through this cobbled area so when I press play and unpause the simulation people will actually walk through here and be able to access all of these buildings. This is another area that I'm really happy with and it goes back to what I was saying about detailing the most important parts of the city because that's what ties everything together. And yeah, there's a lot of trial and error to find the right layout of things, but when it works, it looks really cool, I think. And this is, yeah, just one of those areas that's really visible. It's right on the water. I can imagine that this would be a really nice place for tourists to come and hang out. So I thought that it was important to detail. a whole lot more buildings focusing in on that wall-to-wall -wall style and placing down these blocks that aren't necessarily perfectly squared off so it gives the streets a little more character and yeah I'm just having different styles and buildings again it's important and making sure they're right next to each other <laughs> I'm using procedural objects to get these buildings down to a more reasonable size for the scale of the central plaza that I'm going to be focusing on later. Yeah, this plaza is another vocal point for the city and it's really important that I get this one right. Starting with getting the scale right and getting it looking realistic because this is another one of those main areas of the city that people will be going to. I think it turned out pretty well and I'm happy with the overall vibe of it, which is the most important thing. I'm focusing on placing the buildings to frame the square first off and then I'll get into actually detailing it and that's when things really start to come to life.
now I'm getting the actual into the actual finer points of detail of the plaza. This involves a lot of plays and decals and things like that. And then I'm using PO to sort of combine these two fountain monument things and form a central monument for the square. Then I'm going to place down a lot of benches and storefronts and flowers and stuff like that. I wasn't sure about how exactly the square would function, so I made it that cars can drive through here and it's a sort of really slowed down roundabout. I used Traffic Manager to close it off to private vehicles, so it's just going to be like emergency vehicles and garbage trucks and things like that. But I don't know, I might just close it off to all vehicles, I'll have to see what it looks like when I turn on the simulation. Placing down the shop front buildings from the workshop and they're really cool because you can slide them right into the existing buildings with move it and they provide a ton of character for the city. I focused on placing down restaurants and some high-end fashion stores since I feel like this is a really nice area and yeah I mean the stores can really bring a ton of character to the plaza and I'm happy with how they all sort of came together. It looks I think it looks really cool once it's done and yeah once all the buildings are placed down I have to place a lot of tables and stuff to sort of fill in the gaps I've had to put a lot of thought in even the smallest things because they can create a realistic atmosphere for the city. Um, and yeah, that's about it. This takes a lot of time to make it come to life. And I, again, I appreciate you guys sticking around to watch it all happen. appreciate everyone watching seeing the square in the center of the city come to life and it wouldn't be a youtube video if i didn't ask for you to like and subscribe if you made it this far in the video i figure you're probably enjoying yourself so yeah if you hit the bell hit the thumbs up all those things you help me out a lot um let's get back to the video now and thanks again <laughs>